25. Got Zara and Fred in second place, 24.5. And then 24, Suzanne and Matt. High scores this week. Remember, that's just how the judges have scored our skating stars. Uh, you can give your opinion when we open the lines at the end of the show. Um, with just five stars left in the competition, more than ever, your votes really do count. Next up, he was knocked off the top spot last week. He's going at it all out to regain his crown tonight. Chris Fountain. Last week, I managed to do the axle without falling over. Yes! Oh, he landed it! I think when Chris saw the props, he thought that he just got a suitcase. I like the spot. Hey, Chris. I think I'll fit in it. Bring the table out, too. But then he got a bit of a shock, I think. I think this week he'd rather go back to doing the axle. <laughs> a table and a suitcase? What can you do with a table on ice? I mean, come on. Oh. This week we've got props, so obviously there's a risk there and it's so... There's one move where I jump on a suitcase and then slide underneath the, the table. And if I don't get on the suitcase properly and get down in time, I might knock my head on the, on the table. Ah! Oh my God! Christopher Dean lost his teeth doing more or less the same movement a few years ago. Basically, my teeth had come through the bottom there and um, required about five or six stitches, so I have to be careful. You can't get up. <laughs> Whilst training up in Blackburn for the week, Chris takes the opportunity to pop over to Bradford to see his mum and dad. It's fantastic to have him home, to be honest, because he films in Liverpool all the time. We hardly get to see him, so now he's here, he's pampered beyond belief. Hello. What? How's it going? Because I don't see him that often when I come home, they feel like they need to feed me and they need to wash my clothes and everything. There we go. If any girls want to volunteer to come and do this for me, wash his uh, washing, ring me. We're the loudest in the audience, I think. We have the T-shirts, the banners. Team Fountain. That's for a tea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Skating to Stuck in the Middle with you. Please welcome onto the ice Chris Fountain and Frankie Bogney. to race through the baggage hall like that with Chris in that waistcoat maybe we should have given him a snooker table and if you think he has fewer fans tonight it's because half of the team fountain t-shirts were stolen off his mother's washing line in Bradford at least they didn't take his underpants that's the wraparound lift then the check-in spin with bounce nothing to declare and then the daredevil shoot of death, the toboggan slide, like the, the Cresta run. 27 has been his highest. Karen, 5.5. Nikki, 5.5. Jason, 5.5. Ruthie, 5.
5.5, Robin 5.5, that gives him 27 again. 27, another huge score. Well done. Well done. <laughs> I was glad I still got my teeth. <laughs> yeah, so were we. But when we got the, the props, I was so overwhelmed by, like, having a table, because there's not much you can do with it. You can't pick it up, you can't throw it around or whatever, but... We, we bonded with Terry and Stuart. <laughs> and, um, that's the name of the props. Yeah, yeah, I just started to enjoy myself. I mean, we couldn't do mad stuff with it, so we just really enjoyed it. Uh, that's great. What do you think? I think they did great. I mean, when he walked out on Monday morning, last Monday morning, he, he had his grumpy pants on. Because he walked out and saw that <laughs> They ended up said, on the washing line. What am I going to do? Grumpy pants? <laughs> yeah, <that was> it. <laughs> but he, was, he, was, he really was overwhelmed. But I think once we started playing with it, it was, you know, he, the little boy came out and said, you know, I can do something. Yeah, <laughs> and, and, and so did uh, the, the great score as well. Judges. Great score for Terry Stewart and, of course, Chris. Uh, Nikki, you seem to enjoy that. Yeah, I did. A lot of power in your skating naturally, but being able to use the prop and move it so seamlessly within the routine was really impressive. And I love the fun and the energy, but there is one thing I'd like to see a little bit more, and that's the pair of you dancing together a little bit more closely, some more dance holds, some more looking at each other's eyes, and a little bit more relationship. That would even add it. Maybe that would reach the six for me. Cool. Difficult to dance closely with a table in between. Well, it is. <laughs> it is, but saying. I'm just talking overall. For next week, I'm throwing it for what we might see in the future. Thanks, okay? Nikki Thank you, and pictures. Ruthie. Slightly lower from you. Just slightly lower. Slightly. I, I think you did fabulously with what you were given and for the fact that, it, you know, you had a big old table for a prop. <laughs> I thought you uh, aeroplaned on a table beautifully and that's all I have to say this week. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much, judges. Thanks, Holly. If you think seeing Chris in the semi-final is an open and shut case, then give him your vote when we open the lines very shortly. Chris and Frankie. <laughs> Well, if you want to be here in our audience and cheer on your favourites in next week's semi-final, then here's how you can.